Welcome, Seven Days to Die fans. This is Zith, and I had a request for a short video on how to create uh, sounds, new sounds for the game, and import those. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, in front of you, I uh, had a for the winter uh, experimental mod. I made a abominable, abominable snowman, and you're seeing him in front of you. But he needed some sounds, and I was working with Sphere, and Sphere had some sounds that. Uh, I was able to uh, borrow and import into uh, uh, Unity and then package them up for use. So basically what you do uh, is uh, go to one of the many free uh, sound sites and download a sound file, uh, a looping clip that you want. Um, you generally try to keep them short. Uh, they can be in many different formats. They can be in WAV format, .wav. They can be in MP3. Um, they can be an AUG. Um, seven Days to Die does, uh, when it imports the sound files, it does compression itself. So you don't have to worry too much about the file being uncompressed, other than the fact that your package is going to be a little bigger than it needs to be. So uh, AUG files are great. Uh, they work well. So do MP3s, but WAVs uh, are good too. So let's go ahead and get started. So basically to import uh, a sound uh, for this guy, I'm gonna, I am made a folder called sounds and I've already got some sounds in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to assets, import a new asset, look on my desktop, there's a spaceship file, wave file I'm gonna use. I double click on that and you see it puts it right in my sound folder there. So I have that. Now to simply package these sounds up is something that you can call um, from XML, simply select the ones that you want and hold the control key down to pick as many as you want. We can pick all of these, in fact, and then right click and build asset bundles. And we can call that sounds, uh, be sounds.unity3d, save it to the desktop, and that's it. You now have a package um, that is a uh, sounds.unity3d file. Uh, you put that in the resource folder of your mod, um, along with you know whatever other XML that you're using. Let's take a quick look at um, this Abominable's uh, XML. And I see, pull them up here. Um, I have a uh, XPath import file, and it's uh, Abominable. And down here, <clears throat> you see where in the XML that I call the sounds. He has a sound random. These are these are built in seven days did I call sound sense, sound hurt, sound death, sound attack, sound alert, and sound random. But now I've assigned them these particular names here, um, which were um, the uh, the names of the sound data nodes that I'm going to be using. So let's look at one of them. Let's look at sound. Um, for simple sense, let's look at sound alert. The value of sound alert is a dominable alert. I'm going to go down to my import for sounds. And here's a dominable alert. There's a sound data node called a dominable alert. Now, these, um, these are pretty much uh, customizable. I use pretty much the same ones for generally zo um, zombie sounds. I'm not going to explain all these, but there's a range, a volume, a duration, and so forth. Um, how cr how much does uh, crouching affect that noise, and so on? You can just use these for for default right now. Uh, play with them at your leisure. Also, the noise, the heat map that that sound calls. So when that sound is uh, made, does it attract? Um, you know, zombies or not. So that's an example of one of those. Now you notice in that there's an audio clip referenced, audio clip name, Abominable Sounds Roar. Now I saved my package as sounds, but previously I saved the package as Abominable Sounds. If we use the one we just saved, it would be pound sign sounds and then question mark and the name of the sound I want to associate with the alert. Um, zombie alert and in this case it's roar one and if we go back and look at here you see we had a roar one that was included in the sounds package so that's pretty much it um, that's how you bring sounds in and uh, the only other one worth mentioning is to uh, is to do random as you notice I have a sound random you can also specify how often that random um, sound triggers. I don't have that XML in front of me, but uh, there is a command and I can always type that in uh, later on if anybody's curious about that. But you go down sound random, you notice you can add multiple audio clips. 
So I took the five grrr sounds and put them there. So when he does a random noise when he's wandering around, um, one of those is randomly selected. And they're all slightly different sounds as well. So uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but we can... Uh, if that if you can hear that or not but that's a little different than this one okay so that's it seven days to die fans um might cover uh particles in a uh later uh, tutorial but basically particles are the same thing you make the particles um just like you make the wave part you can import them uh create them in unity but then you just simply um right click on the prefab particle prefab export it and and call it um from seven days to die. Whether you put that particle on an entity or um, use it on the player itself, uh, it's different XML, but we can cover that in a later video. All right, talk to you soon.